Our Earth is four and a half billion years old. And since the first day, it has had a neighbor. They don't exactly know how the moon was formed, but they believe a rock hit Earth and the remaining rock turned into a moon. The most important thing the moon does is control the tides. The gravity of the moon causes the ocean waters of Earth go up and down. But we're gonna do something else here. What would happen if we nuke the moon? If you've seen the movie Oblivion, you'll see that aliens come and blow up the moon to cause the people to be extinct. And that's kind of accurate. If the moon is no longer here, living here is gonna be hard. But we're two superpowers and we don't care. And that is why we want to show the world that we are better. And that's to nuke the moon. It's good to know that in 1958, the US and the USSR had plans to nuke the moon. And that was just to show off. You guys know Carl Sagan. If you've seen our video about the pale blue dot, you'll get to know him. He was trying to figure out what would happen if we did actually nuke the moon. The USSR also had the same project called Project E. We know this never happened because Carl Sagan figured out that this could be very bad. And that is why they made a deal to not do this. They said instead of blowing up the moon, let's go land on it and compete in this level. And in 1969, America was successful. But this has nothing to do with our video. But we figured out that the idea to blow up the moon is very old. What did Carl Sagan know that we didn't? What will happen if we actually nuke the moon? First of all, we have to know that if we take all the nuke we have and make it blow up on the moon, the moon is not gonna change whatsoever. It's just gonna create big craters. The same craters that were caused by asteroids. But let's imagine we make a bomb that we could blow up the moon. What will happen? It's good to know that blowing up the moon has no positives. Some may say at night it's gonna be a lot more dim. One of the things that the moon helps with the Earth is that it attracts a lot of asteroids towards itself. And instead of hitting Earth, they hit the moon. If we blow up the moon, it's not like it's gonna disappear. It's gonna cause a lot of debris and Earth's gravity is gonna pull all the rocks towards it. And that's gonna cause an asteroid shower. If humans wanna blow up the moon with the nukes we have, we know it's not gonna be possible. To do this, we need 9,015 megaton atomic bomb and we have to make them all explode at the same time. Without this, the moon is not gonna explode. If the moon explodes and the meteor shower happens, but a lot of them will head towards Earth. Meteors that could weigh from 12 to 13,000 tons. And anywhere they hit, it's gonna cause destruction. These rocks are gonna have a lot of power and each of them are gonna be around 500 kilotons. And that's 28 times the power of the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. These asteroids are pretty much gonna end the world. One of them hit the earth and the dinosaurs went extinct, but thousands of those are heading our way. And if anybody survives, they're gonna have a much worse time. At that time, since there's no moon, the Earth's balance falls off. Because the Earth's rotation right now, 
is kept accurate with the help of the moon. And if the moon is not there, the Earth's axis is gonna go all over the place. And you're gonna see the North Pole by the equator and the equator by the North Pole. And that messes up the entire ecosystem. In this case, we don't have no proper day and night or season. Today is winter, but tomorrow is gonna be summer. At that time, there's gonna be so much huge problems that problems like the tides are not gonna be important. They're very important, but not at that time. Because if someone is able to stay alive at this point, they are very tough and the tides are not gonna affect them. Without the moon, the Earth's rotation is gonna speed up and 24 hours a day is gonna turn to six hours a day, basically a quarter of what we're used to. If you count the Earth as a car, the moon is the brakes. If the Earth is like a car and there's no moon, it's like cutting the brakes of a car going downhill. They predict thousands of years later, the Earth is gonna have a ring, basically like Saturn, and they're formed with the little pieces of the moon, the pieces that didn't enter the atmosphere, but stayed around the Earth. If anybody is alive at that time, they're gonna see a beautiful sky at night, because when there's no moon, you see a lot more star, because the moonlight causes a lot of light pollution. The problem is nobody is alive to even see this. The moon blew up, but we have to know that the moon is the brightest thing in the night sky. And the brightest after that is Venus. But Venus's light is 1 14th thousandth of the moonlight. And that shows how dominant the moon is at night. And we could say after the sun, it's the brightest thing in the sky. The moon is where it's at, and there's no plan to blowing it up. But there's a question. What did Carl Sagan tell them that made them change their mind? He might have just said what we just said to you guys. He said how important the moon is, so please don't hurt it. And the cool thing is, the Soviets agreed. Maybe after this video, every time you look at the moon, you appreciate it a little. Because you realize without it, the earth is nothing. <laughs>